going to talk to you today about something a little different. I hope I can get it across to you and make you understand. It's called Manage Your Disappointments. I keep going back to Marlene Evans and the, the teaching she gave me on managing my thoughts. You know, keeping them, you know, in check. Because let me just tell you, if you don't watch your thoughts, they can destroy you. They can, they can take away your joy. They can take away your happiness. So we have to manage our disappointments. Um, and I found this verse, and I want to try to explain it to you. Psalm 64, 5, they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? Now, let me try to explain what I interpret this verse to mean. They can encourage themselves in evil. That means they dwell on evil matters. They dwell on people hurting them. They dwell on what people have done to them. They commune of laying snares privily. They, they think, commune, they talk about it, and they think on how to get back to the person. Or they take up for themselves to other people by putting down that other person. Can I say this to all of us? You know, if we would not try to defend ourselves... We'd be such stronger Christians. You know, you'd look better to the whole to the world. And you know what? Your relationships would be better. You know, there are some things you cannot do to defend yourself. And one of the things that I think you can't do to defend yourself is try to explain anything. I think there's times when explaining, it just makes you look like you're making excuses instead of getting all. So, that, so this verse, when I saw this, I thought, you know what? That's what I we need to stop doing. When somebody disappoints me. Now, I'm I'm human. You know, you're not listening to somebody that doesn't live every day with disappointments. I have people in my life that do things that I that are hurtful. I have people in my life that say things that I think, "Wow, woo, you know, how am I supposed to interpret that, you know?" But I I I choose not to dwell on those things. I choose not to think on those negative things, and I sure try not to tell other people that those people said that about me or to me because I want to live a victorious life. And I believe you're listening to this today because you say, you know what, Loretta, I want to be victorious too. I don't want to dwell on disappointments. You know, after after somebody says something, you your tendency is to say, you know what, she said that on purpose. Now, you know, you really can't know the heart of somebody and know why they said something. You know, you might think they said it on purpose to hurt your feelings, but you can't know that for sure. Um, some Sometimes maybe you'll say, she's trying to get me. She's trying to get at me. Now, it might be true that you have people in your life that do that. And I, I, I think it's very possible, especially if you work in the world. But don't dwell on it because it gets you depressed. And you know what uh, David did when he was depressed? First Samuel 30, verse 6. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him. This was a fact. He didn't think it was going to happen. They talked about it, and he heard the murmur for, of the people. Because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But, Dave, that, but this is the key part that I say to myself all the time. But David encouraged himself, and the Lord is God. You know, when you're really disappointed and depressed, you need to encourage yourself in the Lord. And, of course, the word encourage means to gain courage. You know, be courageous. And I, I just need to do that for myself. And you know what, ladies? When, when you have a disappointment, somebody says they're going to do something, they don't do it. You have a disappointment of any kind. Can I just encourage you to just encourage yourself in the Lord? And make excuses for those people, whatever you need to do to clean your mind out and don't dwell on them like Psalm 64, 5 says. Don't dwell on it. Don't talk about it to other people. Just give it all to God and let him take care. be the one that takes care of it. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice.